Today we're going to have a look at how to use ArchiCAD 21 to create shadow diagrams or a sun study. Uh, so first we're going to look at how to set that up. You may want to create it as an overlay for a site plan. So let's have a look at a site plan. We may want to overlay this and, and therefore be able to see how it relates to the neighboring buildings or you may want to do it in 3D. Now for a sun study, so an animation that will work better in 3D. How do we do that? We have to set up a few things first. So we'll go into our options, our project preferences, and our set project north. So this has changed a few different times, uh, but now this is the, the way that we do it. So we choose where it is. I already set this up, but effectively we click on the screen and then we choose what angle we want. I know this project has uh, an angle for north of 20 degrees type it in and then that sets it for us. Then we need to be able to understand how the sun works and how that view works. So we're going to go into view, 3D view options and 3D projection settings. Now we've got two different types of main 3D views. We have perspective views and we can change our perspective orientation and we've got parallel projection views. Now this has a few standard sets, isometrics, axonometrics, and orthographics. Now the one that we want to use for this is our top view. So we're going to click on the top view, and then we're going to scroll around or wheel this camera around until it's sitting at the bottom of our model. So this little house Casting a shadow is a representation of our uh, model or our building. We want that azimuth to be 270 or directly below, which means our 3D model is going to look just like our plan does. Now let's right click, go into show all in 3D and refit to window. And so this is what we see from above. Now we could zoom in and zoom out, that's fine. That's not going to change anything or create any problems for us. But if we go to the Orbit tool, then that's going to mess with our orthographic projection. So we're not going to do that. And we'll see that the little person or the Explore tool is disabled in this view because in a axonometric or isometric view, you can't walk around, only in the perspective view can you use that explore tool. So this is what it looks like. Now it doesn't look really nice and it doesn't work currently to help us understand how shadows work. So we don't want to use this setting. So now we start to look at the different options and this is where ArchiCAD 21 is quite interesting because we've got a few different ways we can show this. So under view, 3D view options, we've now got a new um, menu called 3D styles and when we go into this we can have a lot more settings. It used just to be called basic view um, and vectorial engine or 3D engine and vectorial engine. Uh, now what we see is that there's more standards and then we can also make our options uh, more detailed or varied. So let's just have a look at what these are. Let's go to basic So BASIC is very much like the original 3D engine. You'll see that it's very slow to sort of zoom in or zoom out and therefore to move around. Uh, it is casting a shadow. It's taken away the textures so we don't see the, the image texture surface representation anymore, which is probably better for this sort of a view. The colors are very bright, uh, but we can start to see what is the shadow that this building is already casting, but it's not necessarily a nice view, it's not necessarily what we want to see, so let's look at some other options. View, 3D view options, 3D styles. We've also got simple shaded vectorial. Now some of them automatically have the sun turn on, some don't. I'm just going to scroll through like they are as existing rather than editing them too much. Technical drawing. Now this is a, a brand new one. It's quite interesting. The outline's far too thick, so we see this outline is very, very thick. It's not necessarily how I want to see it, but it, it is interesting in the way that it's showing, and it could very effectively be used 
for shadow diagrams, we see that this side is so steep that we're already starting to cast some shadows just on the ground, so we'll need to change the sun settings uh, a little bit later as we're going, but we don't need to worry about that too much at the moment. The next one is quite interesting, and I like that. View, 3D view options, 3D styles. Uh, in other models, uh, other videos, I've talked about the idea of a white model for our photo rendering. So let's have a look at the white model with shadows. So we see that this is a very nice view. It's crisp. So we have crisp outlines and we have a consistent shadow that's cast over the model surface. So I, I like this view, it works quite well. Let's now have a look at how we can change the sun angle. So we'll go back into view now that we're happy with the, the representation that we've got. View, 3D view options. Now we're going to go into the 3D projection settings. The sun is currently based on a custom setting. Now what we want to do is to base the sun on a date and time. We could go in also into sunlight and that's going to change the intensities of that. This used to be where we go to change the settings but it's now here we see. And so we can choose the date. So the date today is October the 18th. It is daylight savings time, so we're going to have to change that. We see that it's currently 11. And so I could press OK. And that's going to automatically adjust the shadows to right now, what it would look like at this time. Now, if you're doing this shadow diagram for council purposes, generally council for approval for a DA will have particular times that they require you to show for shadows. Let's have a look at what those are and what those shadows might look like depending on how you create your model. 3D projection settings. Generally, these are going to be based on the summer solstice, the winter solstice, and equinox, which is the worst one being June 21, our, in Australia, our winter solstice. And the intention of this is that the winter solstice is the shortest day of the year where the sun angles are at its lowest and so we're going to show the sun path or the the shadow diagrams at 9 a.m. noon or 12 midday and 3 p.m. and of course in June we don't have daylight saving so let's turn that off Now I'm not going to save these just yet, we're just going to have a look at these settings and then we're going to have a look at how to save it. Sorry, wrong one. View, 3D view options, 3D projection settings. Change this now to 12. Uh, I think I did the wrong time, I think that's midnight. Let's try that again. 12. PM and three PM. So we see here that we're casting these shadows at different times of day and we're starting to understand a little bit what they look like. Um, now what I may not have done is change the city. I needed to go in and, and check those settings to make sure that we're in the right place, the right location. Uh, but we're starting to see how these shadows can work. Now there's different ways that we can use this information. We can save a view, file save as. Now we have to check what this allows us to do with the new version in 21. What we're looking for, generally speaking, for one of the, the methods I want to show you is an ARCHICAD 2DL view. Now you'll see that the 2DL view isn't available when we're using our vectorial engine or our uh, white model render. We could potentially say this is a DWG file, or we could go in and change this to our basic settings.
file, save as. ARCHICAD 2D lines and then this could be used to create the representation of that model or we can use another method which is more inbuilt into ARCHICAD so let's just change this back to, I oh, will leave that for now we could change this to our 3D back to our project map we could use our 3D document right click new 3d document from 3d window let's call this sun 3 p.m. sun study June 3 p.m. and this by creating a, a 3d document allows us to then go into the settings and start to change more of the, the representation that we see. So we can then choose to have the sun shadows on or on with contours. And we could choose how much other information we want to see, 3D document settings. Now we might therefore, un in the uncut elements, everything at the moment is uncut, we could change that to uniform pen color. And at the moment, let's just change that to white. And so that's going to make it, just like with our white model settings before, that's going to make everything white except for the shadow. And one of the ways that I would do this would be to then copy all of this, because while it's in our 3D document it's still 3d information and what I really want to do is to be able to turn this into 2d information so I'm going to copy that then I'm going to place it up onto a, a new story I'm going to use a, a different story this one's called ref or reference and there's nothing there I'm going to paste it onto this story making sure that there's nothing else that's available and then I want to find and select just the shadowed elements so edit find and select highlight the fill. Now that's going to choose all the fill. So what I want to do here is to add and I want to add a pen. To make sure that it's visible. We'll add a few different things. So fill background color. Or fill type, ah, miss that. Fill background. So then I've got more settings to be able to choose from, and that means I can now choose only the elements that I want. So you see here that it's chosen all of the shadow elements. I'm going to group those together. Edit grouping group, and then I'll just inverse select to select everything else that I don't want. So I did that by holding shift, and that allowed me to select all the fills. Now I can change this fill setting if I want to. For now I'm going to just put this onto a layer called ARCHICAD or I might already have one down here. Nope. I could create some new layers called Sun Study but for now I'll just leave it onto ARCHICAD layer. I can change the color of this. I can change the representation of that. For now let's make it red and I can select this just copy it for now and place it onto my site plan so I'm having a better understanding of how it relates to the site of course relating to the other buildings and because I'm no longer in our 3D window but in a, a plan view I can now use other information that I need like text uh, like fill color representation dimensions if I need to and of course when I'm overshadowing this building this much I'd need to show the relationship of how it's affecting other elements like windows but this is a great start and of course what I could even do is overlay multiples in the next video I'll do this overlay multiple shadows to show how at different times of the day it's going to cast different shadows on the site so that's a very simple explanation of some possibilities of how to create a shadow diagram 
And um, in the next video, I'll show you how to create a, an animated sun study, which is probably a bit easier than this process, um, but obviously used for a different purpose.